Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as the Murtal Reformers. Now, they are a <clears throat> generic focus tree nation, but they have the unique generic Utah and religious focus tree. We're led by Presbyter Anne and we're currently at war with New Hammond, but with Presbyter Anne. Presbyter Anne holds a torch of salvation high for all, though it burns her dearly. Once a lowly church deacon, the rediscovery of the works of St. Barnabas turned her into a reformer overnight. She served at the front lines of the revolution, forsaking family home and even losing her wife to the anointed during the great fight. Uh, or flight. Deep down, she knows that leadership was never the Lord's calling for, but she will hold the torch no matter the cost. And we have a religious schism. Not good. We have uh, reformist principles, though. The people of Myrtle have embraced reforms, performing acts of charity to those of the waste regardless of their beliefs. This began to bring many people from the other religious sects to them, seeking their kindness and willingness to help others. And so we have a, we're a tribal community, we're relevations of St. Bonobus. We're very focused on the people. We have a new interpretation, because I figured, you know, with reforms and whatnot, um, that just makes sense. What follows the apocalypse makes sense to have here. We have war bands, warrior lifestyle, increasing our power. So we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues generic decisions, uh, revamped, Old World Blues technology or tech expansion, radio, and for the little guys, but it doesn't really help us out. But the main unique thing about this one is the Prodigal Sons. Everything else is the generic Utah reformer or religious tree, so. And we're doing new discoveries too, so if you're going to put that, please go ahead. But the prodigal sons, for too long. The Lord's faithful perverted the message of God, twisting it into a message of cruelty and isolation. Under the teachings of St. Cynthia, we have returned to the true message of the gospel that all may, all may come to the, no, the anointment and salvation of the Lord. For this belief, we have become outcast from Eden and must prepare ourselves lest the light of truth be snuffed out forever. Great, 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 great. And we have a little instrument here. We did go to war with the uh, Murtal Reform oh, Murtal Reformers. We are Murtal Reformers. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, New Hammond. Because I wanted a nation to take out and start expanding. And one unique thing about us is that we can have faith in democracy. Eventually. So we need to have a high chapel as well as the Lord's anointed territories under us so that we can get a core and become a new nation. And we would become the Holy Republic of Idaho. Oh, we're in Idaho. We're not in Utah. Yeah, close enough. Um... How long would it take for us to capitulate them if we just took New Hammond right now? Mm, okay. You know what? Keep them all in place. We're going to go in and encircle them. And whatnot. So, uh, I want you to go to the old glassworks because I know the A's will come for us eventually too. So, why don't you go around? Or you go around. Doesn't really matter. Good. 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 You're gonna circle them there. Great, look at that. New discoveries, fantastic. And the prodigal sons, because we could use the political powers. They're continually trying to make ourselves better. I went with Brian Plunkett. He's a mercenary. Because I think that'd be pretty good for us. Defense, damage to garrisons, attack and defense core territory, spy master, frontline operative. Um, I think frontline operative makes more sense for us. Let's get a little more attack. But now we have five research slots, and we're generic uh, pretty much on everything here. Except we do have advanced electronics. Kind of unique, kind of cool. A lot of time, so I won't do that just yet. A little more manpower for now, because that'd be fine. Oh, the 80s. Ooh, I'm gonna go over them too. Not ideal, not ideal. Um, how about you hold? Sure. I'm not sure if we'd be, really be able to hold out against them, but we'll see how things turn out, maybe. Alright, so we're gonna take everything we can. It's going to piss off the 80s, but, you know, whatever. Uh-huh. We have quite a bit of army XP now. Um, so our men of God. 20 combat with already. We have chems, fire teams, demo teams. We need anti-tank, though. And we have special forces that are also twin combo with, which is very close to what we have for infantry. Not quite, but very close. Um, Follow it up with that. Culture simulation, expand army training for now. We gotta continue expanding what we have here. Uh, the 80s will come to war with soon. And before I forget, I'm sure we could use more guns. Yes, sir. How close are we to the fire teams? Or anti tank, I should say. Cancel the lease. Um, so we've done a, quite a bit here already, but we need more military factories. Which we don't get any more military factories, darn it. 
Naval Dockyards, but that doesn't help us out at all. Weapons of Destruction doesn't help us out. Honoring Champions doesn't really help us out. And we went with a uh, new interpretation, like I said, Great Scriptures, Synchronitism, or Synecrotism. Guards, Great Debate, Defense of the Faithful, River Preservation, Coastal Protection, Mending the Schism is what we want so we can get more political power and stability. Eastern Schisms, Permanent co Local Reduction Coring Costs of the Heretics, which makes no sense because we get free cores on them eventually. So. No, more divisions would be nice. Infantry division defense is pretty good too. Defensive war penalties to modifier. That actually probably would be pretty good. Oh. Oh, I guess we're locked out of this one. You know, I might just use auto. Ooh. Maybe we should have not gone to war with them. Oops. New Hammond aggression. Yeah, maybe I'll go to auto complete these just because oh, I should have done this play. The South of a Refuge allows the glassmakers of New Hammond. While fiercely protective of their secrets, they remain an open trade partner and one of the few friendly faces among our neighbors, for now at least, while they're dead. Rebuilding the great trade routes. Trade between the faithful and New Hammond while we were once prosperous and flowing, but during the events of the schism, all organized trade fell apart. We should endeavor to rebuild this trade relation with the glassmakers, and the writing on the wall. There can be no lasting relationship with the glassmakers, only a prelude to destruction. There's seemingly benign ways how to bloodthirsty soul, and we must distance ourselves from the less from them, lest we become the next esport, and autism techniques. There's no denying the skills that glassmakers have developed over the years. While their obsession with glass borders on the impractical in many ways, there's much that we can learn from their artisans for our own uses. But let's race down this way, because we're going to need more defense, and get two more divisions. Eastern schism Schismatics. Our former brothers and sisters in the faith, now bitter enemies, I is with contempt across the Great River. Already the fires of war burn deep in the heart of Eden, and it's the only time before they are unleashed upon us. Yeah, that's what I pretty much figured they do. Uh, we got quite a few days. So we're going to continue to make more infantry divisions. Hopefully, beat them up a little bit more, perhaps, too. Uh, I'm going to go from there. Line infantry would be nice. Uh, we're working on all that stuff already, which is great. Mm, we're pretty much ahead, ahead in where we need to be. Heck, I even got basic weaponry. I usually forget about that type of stuff, but we already have it, which is fantastic. Uh, over there next. Combine arms training. Good, 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 good. Balloons, just in case five research slots is super, super nice. Uh, go ahead and increase our political power because we're going to help defend for now. Just continue increasing our defenses. Um, and I would like to core as fast as possible, really. So we're nowhere close <laughs> to doing that. Culture assimilation, more resistance. You know what? I'm going to expend this for now. Usually I don't like doing this, but I'll only get accepted for now and I'll put down resistance because I want more compliance. Like rapid compliance. It's going up, unfortunately. This is going up too. Oh, okay. So we don't have to use consequence, but good. Uh, you have an aggression. I mean, this is auto bypass, anyways. So. When do uh, Thunderbirds come out? That's my question. Uh, Warmonger, acquisition. What am I going with? Maybe go, uh, just go ahead and get. We get more resistance to our force, but get more data compliance, and I love the compliance. As long as no one else wants to come kill us, too. That'd be a big problem for us. Um, still working on land auction. We went down conventional for now. Maybe a recon? Maybe? For now, train as well. Oh, and since we're here, better council. Give everyone guns. Uh, military accounts of prominent leaders in the nation put together to think up ways to deal with the enemy. Sure, why not? It gives more daily army XP. And then barricades and outposts, organized supply lines, fight for freedom, rush training programs, experience opportunities. I think maybe barricades and outposts. Outposts set up to watch out for enemies and barricades put up to keep them out. It'll be a cold day in hell before they uproot us. That'd be nice. Alright, so since we're here, it's close enough. Whatever. Go for that one. Defensive movements, nice. output because we are solely lacking tons of guns and whatnot barrage balloons totally gonna make barrage balloons anti-tank rifles um yeah that's pretty important to do you can always buy more guns usually
Hmm, Air Force is not really going to help us out right now. I don't mind Sarge and give our soft attack and better production costs. It does help out too. So, not bad. Spec Ops equipment though is not looking good. Ooh, good. Jack O'Connor, put him down. Great defense is good. More defense, more entrenchment. I'll probably go with uh, um, defense. Defense of asymmetric warfare, wasteland. We might go with enforcers in the end. So there's that. And uh, the last refuge of Christ. Not who reside under the anointed or lost. Even now, defectors make might make midnight crossings across the river to join their brothers in freedom. We must use these defections as a tool to further destabilize their fanatical regime. Hey, you get refugees, so we get more daily political power and monthly population. Everything else hurts a little bit, but that's all right. And the defense of the faithful. If we're to fight for our faith, then every believer will fight. From the youngest child to the elder, will move as one towards a common goal of survival. And then Northern Guardians. High Chapel's protection is the only reason our Reformation survived as long as it did. While they ostensibly hold no side in a conflict, it's no secret that they view the fanatical nature of the anointed poorly. We must continue to strengthen the bonds, our bond, into a full-fledged alliance. Uh, the debate of ideas. High Chapel devotees view our faith as benign to her heredoxy, but perhaps we have more in common than we think. Our greatest theologians have undertaken the task of synchronizing our religious doctrines that they may that we may be united by faith. And petition for defense. Our efforts in wooing High Chapels paid off, and the Council of Parishes has agreed to hear our petition for defense. While the exact details of our new relationship are still being discussed, this may be our salvation from the anointed wrath. Well, everyone, here we're at. Truth be told, I had to use Khan's commands because the 80s was very tough. So I pulled away their divisions from the front line just so we could survive. In the meantime, it's 2280 already. And uh, we've already cored all the former New Hammond territories. Mm, yeah, other than that, we're just becoming strong. We actually have enough manpower, which is unusual for me to say in Old World Blues, but you know, whatever. So we'll make an encirclement. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep, keep, on, keep going from there. Mm, not really seeing too many different opportunities for an encirclement. So maybe we'll just pile a drive through the center here. That may do it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we've actually been able to do okay so far. And of course, only special forces are going to be moving forward. Uh, how about you? How about go this way? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about we dig a hole this way? Let's get some triplane attackers. That'd be nice. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you guys can up out here too. There you go. And keep on there. And there you go. Not many divisions, but you don't need many divisions to do well sometimes. Usually. But the High Chapel wants to come kill us too. Um, they're actually in a war with us against the 80s. Just because uh, we ha we were guaranteed by them. Oh, what the heck? They got out of that encirclement. Well, you're going to die now. Alright then. Oh, yes, you can attack. You're more than welcome to. Uh, but you know, there's a couple guys here, because their guys are actually halfway good. You're going to have bonuses on anybody, and you'll end up d doing okay. So Now they're going to continue to attack us, which is not nice. Not good. Rapid deployment. Good. And as you see, we've got quite a few things done here already. Please, yes, thank you. All right, well, they wanted it. Come on, let's get going. You're gonna push up hard, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna keep pushing hard against them too. Take the capital. Go all the way around, inheriting the earth and food for the oh, hello, for the hungry. High Chapel, no. No, no, no. That's a bad idea, High Chapel. Now they're attacking us. What would we if we were to attack on the front lines? Let's just say we're just going to go crazy. Oh. Well, that helps. We might be able to finish this war off sooner rather than later. So... Of course, this would be a lot of territory to administer, but this is good for army XP as well, so. 
we'll see. We will definitely see. So that, that, all that cord is actually very nice. We're gonna start working with going this direction, perhaps. Can you actually help out and not let our guys completely die here by themselves? That would be great. Just beat the crap out of them. Just beat them up. Hey, finally, it went over. Oh, that's what it was. You were not using this as a trade node, which probably benefited us quite a bit. Level 8, not bad, that's pretty good. So how much more do the 80s have? So they've up 31 divisions. They've lost 7,000, which is pretty good. Uh, uh, having you guys go here would be probably the best. Oh, come on, you were so close to glory. You could have encircled them, but you chose not to. Are you kidding me? Broskies. Bro, come on. All right, what do you got? Your fingers are fox, that's fine. I need you to like do better, like do more. Are these cores? Yes, they are, so. You're gonna do this and you're gonna cut them off. You're gonna go all the way around, maybe. Maybe not, hmm. Something, we gotta do something here. A high Chapel Ultimatum. High Chapel Baptizers have always viewed a presence on the Great River with displeasure. However, they decided to take action against us. On West from across the river have decided to take action against us. Um, and they submit to their authority in the river and cease any and all large scale naval projects. No choice to accept. No. Well, that's not going to go very well for us. Oh, we'll see what we can do. Food for the hungry. And bountiful harvests. Come on, the 80s should capitulate here. Good. I really don't want to go to war with them because we are stretched absolutely to the max right now. But we'll see. As long as they don't go to war with us, that's good. So how much more do they have? Like seriously. I always see a fight in the 80s because they're just maybe not overpowered, but they're close enough to being overpowered when you're not strong enough to the point where it feels like they basically are overpowered. Are you freaking kidding me? So, um, yeah, no, Murtaugh Reformers, not very good, honestly, to play as just because 80s are too tough. So if we lose this division, I'm going to rage quit. I'm going to force defense. I really don't care. Yeah, they basically have unlimited manpower, so I'm going to continue doing this, and uh, I'll see you when we maybe go to War with High Chapel, maybe, maybe not. Well, this has just turned into a giant colossal mess. 80s were a pain in the ass. I mean, I, I, I hate the 80s so much, it's not funny. They need to be toned down still. If they're not going to have a civil war, they need to be toned down more. It might be, but that's just me. Um, uh, the High Chapel did go to war with us, and then they called in the Lord's Anointed too. Um, or they came in too anyways, whatever. Um, so we're, this has been one hell of a campaign so far. Like, this is ridiculously... Terrible for Murtaugh. I cannot recommend the Murtaugh performance because they're just too difficult to play as, but it is what it is, and uh, we're going to continue on no matter what because this A to C series is one of my things that I really wanted to do, and by God, we're going to keep going. But yeah, this has been just a pain in the ass. Huge pain in the ass. The biggest ass you've ever seen. Anyways, regardless. Um, yeah, I'm, infantry just suck. They just suck. Balls. It's not funny. <laughs> the Willing Warbands. Yeah, garbage. Motorized, not using them in this campaign. Um, not that, but we're instead we'll use fire bases. I know we don't have enough of these guys, but I really don't care at this point. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. I apologize for using consequence earlier, but it's basically impossible without it, especially against the 80s. Against High Chapel and Anointed, that's fine, but against the 80s, not so much. Um, I'm interested to see who's attacking who. The Heaven's Gate is doing very well. Of course, it helps that they're. Enemies on two fronts, but still. So. They keep pushing. Yeah, they keep. You know what? They must be put most of their divisions on our four because uh, Heaven's Gate's doing very well. It must be very easy for them or something here. Very annoying doing it like this. Oh, do that. We're not going to war. We need more stability. Not going to expand army training for now, but whatever. Uh, we still have our science points here too, I think, don't we? No. Well, maybe not. No. Oh yeah, we do. 
We have no money still, so what do you expect? But like I said earlier, science and technology, science, political actions. We're gonna go with wasteland tactics. Maybe use enforcers. Jesus Christ, this is terrible. You're gonna force the attack at this point. I don't care. We need to get at least some territory out of this, which will put us at war with Heaven's Gate, but still. It's so annoying. That's all good in the north. That's good. And we'll have that. Get some better planes. Both better planes. Yeah. Hi, hi, Chapel. Okay. 80s? God awful. Absolutely god awful. If you can burn the 80s down to the ground, I always recommend it. Oh, we need crowd control here. Yes. Four really weak divisions. Can you go into one? One before? Can you actually get across the river? Because it motorized isn't good for taking over the river, still. Yeah, the special force may just have it, maybe. Yeah, no. Good. There you go. Can you use a fox? Ooh, actually, you know what? You need a sniper. How are we guys doing up here? Here's a hold. Just hold. Yeah, look at that. I mean, they're forcing the attack as well. That's kind of ridiculous. Not gonna lie. Northern Guardians. Debate of ideas. Since we're here, we must do that too. You know what? Just pull back. It's fine. Just pull, just pull back. Hello. I. I I hate it when the game does not listen. Come on, retreat, or I will delete your division template, or delete you. Hold, ding dongs. Special forces though are doing quite well. No, no, you don't need to go over there, you ding dong. Just go over here, help support the attack, and that'll help us with a lot of deficiencies. Just hold, straight up, just hold. It's fine. We're, we're lacking a lot of things, as you can see. Not ideal. It is what it is. It's been a pain in the ass, like I said, though. Um, can't recommend Murtaugh Reformers. Uh, hopefully they get another update someday. Uh, but I might end it here, just because I'm going to keep working on this, because this is this is annoying. This is so annoying. I mean, I've been playing until 2021, and it's not going very well for us. But in the next episode, hopefully things will be better. Things are cleaned up. Probably split the territory of High Chapel and the Lord's Anointed with Heaven's Gate. And uh, eventually we'll probably, if I have... It's possible. Do faith and democracy to get some cores, maybe. Probably not yet. We'll probably do that together. But regardless, if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and then I'll see you tomorrow as I'm going to continue trying with the Murtaugh Reformers. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.